So I'm the distributor with Petros, that's Petro and the channel founding group. And uh, I have a partner which couldn't make it today because she's sick. So next slide. So that's what my partner looks like. <laughs> So what is SDR? So SDR stands for Software Defined Radio. It's a collection of hardware and software technologies where some or all the radio operating functions are implemented through modifiable software or firmware operating on programmable processing technologies. And uh, you can see the detailed structures through that graph. Or oh, that's a brief structure. And what it why we do spectrum learning? So, the interference can significantly uh, degrade the quality of service and uh, facilitate the identification and removal of illegal unlicensed interference signals. And the monitoring frequencies can provide the information needed to optimize the frequency for maximize utilization. And so here, so here are the two things, two tools that we use. It's the USRP, which stands for Universal Software Radio Protocols, and the USRP Hardware Drivers, which is USD. And USRP is a software-defined RF architecture used to design, prototype, and deploy wireless systems with customer custom signal processing. And uh, UFD is the software API that supports application developed on all the USRP SDR products. And here is the first experiment we did. It's working with USRP2. So we transmit and receive a signal single frequency over the air to demonstrate the use of the USD drivers with USRP2 hardware. And here are the results. So you can see that's what it looks like when the code is running, and that's what the graph we get in the terminal. And here is the second experiment we do, which we use two transmitter and two receiver and use the same USRP stuff. And the third experiment is we use USRP2 and y -third, so we can collect data with it. And here's other results. And the fourth experiment is simple radio example with Uno radio benchmark scripts. So we still use USRP2 to show a simple transfer of package between the two nodes. And we loaded the image called multi antenna tutorial into the nodes. And then we use the benchmark script to transfer text over a video link between the two nodes. And it's single transmitter and single receiver. So and here's the result. So that's what the transmitter looks like. Oh no, that's a receiver, I think. Yeah, that's a receiver. And the fifth experiment is working with USRP X310. So we use two X310s on the sandbox two to transmit and receive a single frequency over the air. And we it demonstrates the use of the USD driver and the Uno radio with the X310. And we use the Uno radio companion to plot the spectrum of the received signal. So here's the result. So the first image is when we, the image we get after, when we start the transmitter first and then start the receiver. And the second image is when we start the receiver first and then Mm, start the transmitter. And uh, we did some data collection too using USRP2 and Wiser. And yeah, that's the data that we collect. Um, yep. 
this is another data, which is a dot bin file, which I don't think we are supposed to open it with text editors. As you can see, it's all messed up with things that you can't read inside. And the future work is with the correct data, we should use AI and machine learning approaches to build intelligent networks in order to adapt their spectral behaviors. And based on the behaviors of different wireless users, we should use algorithms to assign limit spectrum capacities in a more efficient ways. Uh, any questions? Thank you.